I never understood why Elliot didn't become very, very successful right away. I thought he was good as soon as I saw him. This guy's really good. He's a good writer. He's got very good words. Great looking guy, looked like a rock star. The beautiful blonde hair, the great face, was a real dandy. He dressed spectacularly. Elliot was a very poetic guy, could write metaphorically. And in a way, he was more akin to like a Bob Dylan. I don't think he's ever written a bad song. I've never come across an Elliot Murphy song that I thought didn't work. And he's made a lot of music and a lot of, you know, modern music that to my, to my mind is as good as his earliest stuff and uh, as good as his best, his best music. He's still at his best. Elliot wasn't heard a lot on the radio in the 80s. I thought that he was living in, in Europe and was having a successful career over there because I read about some articles about him uh, from France and Germany, Spain, and I assumed, okay, that's what he's doing right now. Elliot went overseas and made a life for himself, you know, an entire life for himself that he couldn't find in the United States. He's made a career as a musician. That's very hard to do, and it's a great success. But Elliot was uh, a, what we call a career artist and had integrity, was able to survive when I mean, a lot of other people just left the business altogether. He's a wonderful guy, you know, he's got so much soul and spirit and never gives up and I just have tremendous admiration for him. I admire him greatly. Do my thoughts come through? I want to talk to you.